Hey guys, Ryo here with another video on how to get tickets to see movies at the Toronto International Film Festival. Individual tickets are now on sale, but the sad news is that most of the screenings are completely sold out. I mean, sure, you can still get tickets to the Tuesday 7 a.m. screening of a Montenegrin dance slash crime film. You probably should because that sounds pretty good. But if you want to see any of the big name films like Jennifer's Body or the Coen Brothers film or the new Michael Haneke film, well, sorry to say, but you are probably out of luck. Unless you know the super secret way to get tickets at the last minute. The most tried and true method, the one we're going to talk about today, is the rush line. Have you ever flown standby? Well, rushing a film is the same basic thing. Rushing a film makes it possible for people like you and I to sometimes get in to see screenings that are sold out, that, and that have been sold out for weeks. See all these people up here? They have tickets for the screening. They're lined up to get into the theater stress-free. But see all those people back there? They don't have tickets. They were in line for probably two or three hours before the screening started, hoping, hoping that God will smile upon them and hand them a golden ticket. See, how these screenings work is that they sell a bunch of tickets in advance to donors or to the general public, people who are on the ball anyway, um, but they always hold back a bunch of tickets in reserve. And if it looks like the director or producer or Brad Pitt and his entourage aren't gonna use those tickets, then they sell them to people in the rush line for cash money. And then they get to go in and watch the movie. I've almost never seen nobody from the rush line get in to see a movie. And occasionally, huge groups of people will get in. But you have to get there early, 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 early. And bring a Game Boy or, or a book. Uh, make sure to bring an umbrella and a warm coat. A bag is usually good to bring with a bunch of stuff in it. In your bag you can put some food, your Game Boy, a book, umbrella. If you have one of those collapsible umbrellas, it can go in the bag too. And that's where you can put your jacket if it actually is warmer than you thought it would be. But be prepared for disappointment. Be prepared for not getting in and seeing this movie and sitting on a hard concrete slab for two hours for nothing. A couple of years ago, Mike and I rushed to see Borat and we waited in line for two hours and we didn't even get in. But as often as it doesn't work, you might actually get in to see these movies. And uh, sometimes these movies can be the huge ones, the really popular ones that won't come out in theaters for months. And you'll get to see them before anybody else. Literally, because if you stand in the rush line and you get in, they seat you after all the ticket holders have already sat down. So that means you're probably sitting in the front row, which means you will literally take in the visual information before anyone sitting behind you. So that's how you do it. That's how you rush to get tickets for Toronto International Film Festival screenings, by being patient and by being sneaky. You know, good luck, be patient, bring a book, etc., etc., and uh, come back next week for part two of this particular video series where we'll give you another method of getting tickets at the last minute because you're lazy and you didn't get tickets at the beginning of August like everyone else. Okay, wrap it up.